Hello kids. I'm Abdul Kalam. You know me, right? <laughs> I've been forever with you to tell things that will inspire you. Today, let me share an incident that has changed my life. It happened in my hometown of Rameshwaram some 70 years ago. In those times, people used to be very strict about their religious beliefs. However, there was our science teacher named Shiva Subramanya Iyer. Though he was from an orthodox family, he tried his best to break the social barriers. He encouraged us to mingle together irrespective of religion and social status. Subramanya Iyer used to spend a lot of time with me, clarifying my doubts and motivating me about the future. On one such occasion he asked, "Hey, why don't you come on for a dinner at my house?" I was so happy to have a dinner at my teacher's house, but I was afraid of his wife. My teacher's wife is known to be very conservative. I know that she would never allow a Muslim in her hall and that too for a dinner. However, I went to my teacher's house the next day at the set time. He gracefully took me inside, made me sit in the hall and call his wife to serve the meal as I feared. She denied to serve me meals with her hands. She was so horrified at my presence that she didn't even come out of her kitchen. My teacher didn't utter a word. He simply took out the dishes and began to serve by himself. His wife just stood behind the kitchen door and watched me. When I was leaving his house, Shiva Subramanya Iyer invited me to join him for dinner again the next weekend. Observing my hesitation, he told me not to get upset and said, "Once you decide to change the system, such problems have to be faced." When I visited his house the next week, Shiva Subramanya Iyer's wife took me inside the kitchen and served me food with her own hands. She might have realized that all humans are the same. People like Shiva Subramanyam have inspired me to be a good human and to face any challenge and pressure to retain my true character.